Hello, this is a quick tutorial on Blackboard Collaborate. And I wanted to actually create this tutorial because I've had a couple of questions from people who are using Blackboard Collaborate for class and they're doing some sharing of applications and getting what we call a tunnel effect. So I'm going to show you that today and show you how to get uh, through that particular issue. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to join my Collaborate session and you'll see that pull up on the screen. As that's pulling up, I want to remind you that currently as we speak, we want to be doing Blackboard Collaborate using Google Chrome. Chrome is the browser that you want to be using. You don't want to be using Firefox, Internet Explorer, or Safari. You want to be using Chrome because that will give you access to the full complement of tools. So again, we're, <clears throat> we're in our room. You can watch other videos for setting stuff up. I can share video. I'm not going to do that right now. I can turn my audio on. If we're going to record the session, again, that's up here. Make sure you start and stop the recording before you exit or things will disappear. All of these features are discussed in much more detail in earlier Blackboard Collaborate videos. When you open the Collaborate panel over here, you get access to everything from a chat window to a participants list. You have settings and so forth. I'm going to focus on this particular area, this share content area. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up another tab that just has something like, I don't know, CNN or something like that, cnbc.com. <clears throat> so I have this particular website again back to my Collaborate session. And so you have these choices of different content you can share, and I've explained these again in another video. I want to focus on the share application. So let's say this is the site that I want to share. What often happens when I click share application, and then I go up and I grab this particular um, tab and say that that's the selected one. <clears throat> I'm now sharing this, and this can work. It's not too bad. I can stop sharing just by clicking on this stop sharing button area here that is shown up in the bottom of my screen. I've just dragged it up here so you can see it. I can actually stop sharing, you know, whenever I want to. But oftentimes when you bounce back and forth, you'll get this. This is what we call tunnel vision. So when you move, if you have forgotten to stop sharing, we're still sharing, but now we're sharing a copy of a copy of a copy. You've got multiple tabs open. So I'm going to stop sharing this right now, get us back to this particular spot. I'm going to close that tab and I'm going to show you the best way to do this. Again, using tabs, what we're going to do is we're going to open up a new tab and have that tab be the one that we do all our work in while we are recording in the Collaborate session. So if I go ahead and grab me a new tab and I'm now clicking and dragging to the right. This entire tab. <clears throat> so now I have this new Google tab. And pull that spot up on the website. And then this is the tab that I've grabbed, and I've now put that right into my Blackboard session. That's the best way to do it, is create a new tab in Google Chrome, so kind of drag it over to the right side of your screen until you see the entire screen pop up on the front of your Blackboard Collaborate page. You can drag that back into your border area here and then go back to collaborate and then do your share application. You can see here, this is how you stop sharing, or you can stop sharing here, and it's telling you that you are sharing an application. And what you're sharing is this particular window. So if you needed to add anything else, if you did it all in that particular tab, you would be able to record it all without getting the tunnel vision. That's what I wanted to show you, just a quick Google um, Chrome and Blackboard Collaborate tip. Thank you.